Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are around the globe. Today we are going to see how to um, install CDT Climate Data Tool and R in your PC. It can be installed on Windows 10 or Windows uh, 11 easily. Here uh, we have the set of the links that uh, we need to install the CDT. This is the main link where all the steps are provided and even another steps if you wish to install it and uh, uh, a different operating system apart from windows so this one is for for windows if you are using using windows 10 or windows 11 so this this is the link to download r because uh, first and foremost we have to uh, install and download download and install r in our pc i have it here already so no need to install it again and we have to install also our tools and after that we can uh, install the packages and libraries that uh, can help to uh, to use R on our PC so I have R here already uh, installed the latest version you can follow the link to download it and I also downloaded the R tools I just need to install it again I just install them before I start the video so I make the video a little bit shorter now the CDT is climate data tools and this tool is quite powerful, quite convenient, quite uh, straightforward that you can use it manually in order to process your climate data, particularly uh, station data and NCDF files. Uh, now we have to install the R tools. I have to take a little bit more time. The tool can help you um, to do like uh, several kinds of analysis, like climatologies, anomalies, trends analysis. You can also prepare your your data in different forms, in different formats. It can help you also to do cross validation, merging, bias correction. You can calculate bias coefficients, of course, and you can apply them. Um, using this tool you can uh, you can do a wide range of of different analysis and I wish guys you try it and I'm sure that you will fall in love with it so after we install the R tool make sure to install the latest version or the version that's compatible with the R that you already installed sorry guys I just double clicked on it for twice or double open it. And the good thing about CDT is just recently they have released a user guide which is available online. You can just type CDT user guide and you will find it one of the first uh, results. And it's quite easy, quite straight. I think it will save a lot of time, guys, because most of uh, beginners in research usually have that kind of problems where you have to construct your own code which is uh, time wasting but tools like CDT can help you really to minimize the effort and um, do a lot of a uh, lot of analysis like immediately or promptly
well guys I paused the video because it was taking too long and after we install the R tools we just launch our um, directly and uh, yeah it, uh, yeah I have the codes the commands here just copy these commands which you will find in the description and uh, click enter then you choose yes and you can uh, pick the chrome mirror that that fits where you are like uh, go in china it will take a few minutes i believe is telling that the the packages uh, were successfully unpacked and installed let me just pause I'll be back whenever it's done so yeah, now we have downloaded all the uh, binary packages that uh, we wanted by this command install packages dv tools. Then we need to run this command also to install the uh, library cdt. Just paste for the first command it will go directly and then the other one I believe we need to hit enter to have it running. Just hit enter for the second command. And again, wait patiently for it. I'll pause again. Yes, guys, so now we are done installing uh, CDT. And now to launch CDT, we can just put library. CDT. Yes, guys, we're back again. So after installing uh, Yes, guys, we're back again. So after installing all these packages uh, It will show you that the CDT installation done now you can just put uh, library CDT in order to start CDT and then you can put start CDT to launch CDT so now this is the climate data tool this is just some information that you guys can fill and let's just have a brief um, uh, introduction let's just hover over the tool itself and what sort of uh, that can do you can absolutely uh, prepare your data you can manipulate the CDT station data and you can download the data as well this uh, uh, the thing that I really mentioned there are different kind of data set available here you can just put your initials and then you can search for the data you can do aggregation for for time steps you can extract data you can split net CDF into CDT format you can do uh, quality control you can regrid your data you can merge your data you can um, do bias corrections for different kind of data set um, you can do uh, spatial analysis and you can calculate the different climate extreme indices and drought indices and in others I believe guys you will love this tool 
and uh, yeah that's all for our video thank you